As your first question, whether the Prophet ﷺ is alive in his grave and making prayer or not, no, this is absolutely false. The Prophet ﷺ was told in the Quran, إِنَّكَ مَيِّتُونَ وَإِنَّهُمْ مَيِّتُونَ Certainly you will die and they too will die. وَمَا مُحَمَّدٌ إِلَّا رَسُولٌ قَدْ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبِلِهِ الرُّسُلُ فَإِمَّا تَأَوْقُتِ لَنْقَلَبَتُمْ عَلَىٰ أَعْقَابِكُمْ وَمَنْ يَنْقَلِبَ عَلَىٰ عَقِبَيْهِ فَلَنْ يَضُرَّ اللَّهَ شَيْئًا Allah the Almighty says Muhammad is not but a messenger whom before him many messengers have come. Whether he is dead or killed, will you turn back on your heels? Will you convert from Islam to disbelief? And whoever does so will not hurt nor harm Allah and art. Rather they harm themselves. Many ayat pertaining that the fact Muhammad sallallahu is a human being and his lifespan once it ends he will die. Now the Prophet sallallahu told us that the more we sin, peace and the blessings upon him, the, uh, Allah the Almighty would allow him uh, to answer back. One of the Sahaba said, Ya Rasulullah, and how will you answer the salutation that we send upon you while you would be dead and your body will decay and decompose? The Prophet said, In Allah Harama Ala Al Ardi and Takula Ajisad Al Ambiya. Allah has forbidden the earth from devouring or decaying the bodies of the prophets. So all the prophets their bodies are intact as the same day that they died, as if they were still alive. This is a fact with all the prophets. And that honor is extended to the martyrs or a shuhada to the extent that they will be resurrected on the day of judgment with their wounds bleeding. Many incidents in Palestine, many shuhada who were killed by the perpetrators, by the Zionists, when they have to remove their bodies from a grave to another, they found them, even though they were martyred. Uh, several years back, their bodies are still fresh, and they're soft as if they just died uh, today. Similarly, with the bodies of the 70 shuhada uh, of the Battle of Uhud, when there was a flood, and exposed their bodies and the graves, that they found these companions their bodies were soft as if they were buried just today. And this is over uh, 1400 years ago. Now, the Prophet ﷺ said, Allah will render back the soul to me to answer your supplication. Whoever sends the salam upon the Prophet ﷺ, say, Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala ali Muhammad. He said, Sallu alayya fa inna salatakum tablughuni. Give me the, the blessings, the peace and the blessings and salutation because that will reach me and I will answer back. That doesn't mean that he's alive like us, but it's a certain life in the Barzakh that only enables him to answer back the salutation. But he is not required to worship and he is buried in his grave. He does not pray nor fast or any of that. Those who fake this myth, they have forgotten the fact that if the Prophet ﷺ was still alive, then he would be obliged to lead his ummah to success, to lead them on the battlefield, to lead them towards uh, the proper manners, to preach, to give da'wah, or the Prophet ﷺ would be neglecting his duty. But the Prophet ﷺ is dead, and this is what the Qur'an says. When Umar ibn Khattab radiyallahu anhu, uh, could not imagine that the Prophet ﷺ have died, and he said to those who said that he's dead, that he will kill whoever claims that the Prophet is dead. He said he went for a meeting with his Lord, like Prophet Moses, and he surely would be coming back. So Abu Bakr Siddiq calmed him down and said, Ya Umar, didn't hear what Allah said, Wa ma Muhammadun illa Rasul, the ayah or the verse. He said, By Allah, it was as if I have never heard it before this moment. So we have to accept the fact that the Prophet ﷺ is dead.